So now we are going to discuss big omega notation. Big omega notation provides asymptotic lower bound. And in case of the big O notation, we have seen that by intuition, big O notation denotes the asymptotic upper bound, means the worst case behavior of your algorithm. And just opposite to the big O notation, if you go for the big omega notation, then big omega notation provides asymptotic lower bound. So f of n is big omega of g of n if and only if c times g of n is less than or equal to f of n. Means f of n is greater than or equal to c into g of n. And both are the asymptotic pos positive. This means c of g of c times g of n and f of n is also the positive functions. <clears throat> See here, after the value of n zero, the rate of growth of f of n is large, either greater than or equal as compared with the c times g of n. c is some constant. So some constant multi uh, multiplied by the function g of n. So rate f of n is more than or equal to c times g of n. But it may be case that for some input, your algorithm may run in here also. f of n may be here, or f of n can be here, f of n can be here, f of n can be here, f of n can be here. There is no problem. But condition is that your f of n will not be less than c times g of n. Means you are setting the lower one. Your claim, your claim is for the lower case. So <clears throat> once you are going to represent the analysis in best case, and you have come with the operations, f of n is the number of operations required by your algorithm in best case, then you can denote with the help of some toting notation. Sorry. This is not the big O. You can say that this is the big omega. So whenever we represent the analysis with the help of the big omega notation, then actually we are claiming the lower case of your algorithm. You are telling that irrespective of the input, you are not talking about the particular input. Your claim is that there is some input for which your algorithm will run minimum this time. And at the same time, you are also claiming that there is no input for which you can say that your algorithm runs less than this time. So this is the minimum times your claim is that minimum time. So whenever you go for the f of n, and whenever you go for the asymptotic notation big omega, then by intuition big omega notation denotes the best case of your algorithm, means lower bound of your algorithm. So you, you are specifying the minimum time requirement of your algorithm. Whenever you say running time of an algorithm, A is big omega of n square. This means you are specifying that the best case behavior of your algorithm A is big omega of n square. Means your algorithm A, whatever be the input, there are some input for which your algorithm takes time n square. However, there may be some input for which your algorithm may require n q, n4, whatever. So your claim is only this is the n square, this is the lower bound. So you are specifying the lower bound. So lower bound is n square. So your claim is that the minimum time requirement for the algorithm A is big omega of n square. And it may be possible that for some input, your algorithm may run more than this time. But your claim is that your algorithm will not run less than n square time. This is your claim. OK. So by intuition, big omega notation denotes the asymptotic lower bound. So the question is that whenever you have the f of n, say 10 n square plus 5, so you can say that f of n is big omega of n square. And once you are saying f of n is big omega of n square, this means f of n is greater than or equal to some constant c into g of n. So this is the lower bound you are going to. You are claiming that, OK, this is the minimum time. And since f of n is more than this, so f of n is also more than the linear. So you can say that f of, f of n can also be written as big omega of n. Because your claim is that minimum time. You are not saying anything about the upper case. So your claim is that your algorithm will not take less than this time. And this is OK. So <clears throat> whenever you are going to represent with the help of the n square, big omega of n square, this is the tight bond. Whenever you are going to write, if you have the actual number of operations in best case of any algorithm, 
is 10 10 n square plus 5 and if you are writing like this f of n is big omega of n then this is the this is not a tight bond this is the weak lower bond this is weak lower bond so by definition if you have the appraisal someone may say that okay i will write big omega of n because definition allows someone say that i will write big omega of n square so this is the largest function of g of n that satisfy the condition and you need whenever you have the exact number of operation you have counted then actually you need to write the largest function g of n for which the relationship holds true and if you if you are doing so then this is the case of the tight bond whenever you are representing less degree less than the f of n then this is the case of big lower bond so this may or may not be tight but whenever you have the exact operation you need to provide the tight bond so if there exist positive constants c and n0 for which you can say that f of n is greater than or equal to c into g of n f of n is greater than or equal to c into g of n then you can say that f of n is a member of this set so while writing big omega of g of n again you are saying that this is the group name and say if you have the big omega of n square so what f of n will be here what are the f of n so here g of n is what g of n is n square here so whenever you have the g of n is n square then f of n you need to decide the f of n and f degree of f of n will be since f of n is greater than or equal to g of n sin c times g of n then degree of f of n here all f of n is here whose degree is more than or equal to 2 as degree of g of n is 2 so all all polynomials of degree more than or equal to 2 if you have g of n is n square then all f of n will, will come here whose degree whose polynomial of degree is more than or equal to 2 and also some exponential function can also come here some factorial function can also come because rate of growth of exponential and rate of growth of the factorial is very high as compared with the polynomial of degree two so larger function actually all functions will which one will be there f of n must be larger than c into g of n so larger than g of n so if g of n can be if g of n is n square then f of n can be 2, degree of f of n can be 2 or more than 2 or you have some exponential function here, f of n can be exponential or f of n can be factorial. So see that if you have said that my algorithm running time of algorithm A is big omega of n square, it means you are representing the minimum time of your algorithm and what is your claim that? Since you are saying that f of if without using modifier, if you say that algorithm A requires time big omega of n square, this means what you are what you are claiming that you know the property of this group. In this group, big omega of n square, all f of n is there. And the lowest f of n is what? Lowest f of n is of degree 2. But f of n can be higher. So you are claiming the minimum case means. Once you are without using any modifier, once you say f of n is big omega of n square, means algorithm A requires time big omega of n square. This means you are specifying that your algorithm A's minimum time is big omega of n square. Else, with, you can see that big omega of n square denote the set of functions. And what are the function here? The functions all f of n of degree 2, all f of n of degree more than 2, will also be here and exponential function factorial function will also be here the larger than simply larger than the n square but the minimum behavior is what n square so that's why you are specifying the minimum time but you are not saying anything about the upper cases because upper case can be 2 raised power n upper case can be factorial n upper case can be n q if here n square upper case can be n q upper case can be n raised power 4 or anything but the minimum is what 2 so you are specifying the the behavior of this group is what this once your algorithm comes in this group it means you are claiming that 
the minimum time there are some input for which your algorithm runs in this time but there is no input for which your algorithm will take less than any square time this is your claim okay. here again you don't require to prove that what you need to if you have just come up with the number of operations like 10 any square plus 5 you just write it big omega of any square and you know for writing the big omega of any square it means what you are play, writing here 10 square plus 5 this should be this should be what this is the f of n and f of n should be greater than or equal to c into g of n and here g of n is here you have claimed that n square so you need to determine the c and also you need to determine the value of n0 you need to find out the value of n0 so if you can determine if there exists some c and at least one such, such c and n0 will should be there so if there exists some c and n0 for which you can prove that this relationship holds true for every value of n greater than or equal to n0 then you are able to write like this and let us see if you have 10 n square 10 n square plus 5 and you can say this is greater than or equal to say you can take the c can be taken anything and c is the positive constant greater than 0 you can select anyone say i'm going to select c is equal to 1 and here you have the n square so see what is the value of n0 after after this relationship holds true you can take n is equal to 1 also if n is equal to 1 then you see that if n is equal to 1 then here you have the 15 and here you have the 1 and relationship holds true if n is equal to 10 then 10 10 square means 100 times 10 1000 plus 5 1005 and here you have the 100 so 1005 is more than or equal to 100 this relationship holds means this relationship holds true so you have determined the c is equal to 1 and n is n0 is equal to 1 and this relationship holds true for every value of n greater than or equal to 1 so you have found the re relationship and hence you are able to tell like this f of n is equal to 10 n square plus 5 is equal to big omega of n so you can say that this is the big omega of n square now <clears throat> Can you say f of if f of n is this? Can you say f of n is f of n is big omega of n cube? If you have counted the operation like this, so for saying that if 10 is 10 n square plus 5 is greater than or equal to, you need to determine some positive constant c, and here g of n is n cube, and you need to determine the n zero. So see that whatever constant you can select may be small or large irrespective of that because constant or constant and here you have the n cube and here you have the n square so once n tends to infinite you will see that the rate of growth of n cube is very high even you can take very small value of c there is no issue even you can take 0.1 or whatever you can say but once n tends to infinite then the nq rate of growth of nq is very very large and hence n square divided by nq if n tends to infinite then you know that the rate of growth of nq is very high and n square will become insignificant relative to nq and hence condition says that f of n should be greater than or equal to c times g of n and but once n tends to infinite then this f on f of n becomes insignificant relative to g of n and hence you cannot write f of n as order of you cannot write f of n is big omega of n cube if f of n is 10 is 10 n square plus 5 then you can write big omega of n square but you cannot write big omega of n cube similarly you can also write this is then you can also write by definition big omega of n because this is greater than this 
then f of n is also greater than n because the rate of growth this is the linear and this is the quadratic and rate of growth of quadratic means polynomial of degree 2 is always higher than the rate of growth of the linear linear function so that's why you can represent the if f of n is 10 n square then you can maximum degree will be 2 you can also go for the n raised power 1 n raised power 0 0.5 you can also write and if you are writing n raised power 0 0.5 or n raised power 1.5 then this is these are not tight bound but once you write d omega of n square this is the tight bound so whenever you have exact number of operations you have counted then you should write the tight bound you have to write the largest function of g of n for which the relationship holds true and this is the intuition of big omega notations so this is just opposite to the <coughs> big o notation whenever you have the polynomial of degree d then you will also be able to see that p of n is equal to big omega of n raised power d 